people brave the cold this morning on the Capitol steps to show their support for school choice. I'm Rachel Garrett for GBC News, and they held a rally here this morning with lots of different types of speakers, including parents and even some pastors, and they handed out t-shirts. There's a group of people out there who like to keep things just the way they are. And I'm not going to stand for it anymore. Are you? No. no. Concerned parents from across Georgia started the day at a meeting to learn about the four pieces of legislation regarding school choice that are on the table right now. One of the rally organizers demonstrated the need for change with actual examples of high school performance. Test. What percentage of the kids uh, did not pass the end of course test in Algebra 1? 94%. Uh, I just want you to see as a Christ. After State Senator Steve Thompson said he'd vote no to some of the bills, giving parents more choice of where their kids go to school, a crowd member asked how receptive he was to listening to his constituency. He responded with a direct phone number. Give my cell number, 404-861-5339. And uh, that's about as good as I can do because you should be able to get me on that. The school choice day moved outside to the Capitol steps where speakers included Archbishop Wilton Gregory, Senate Majority Leader Chip Rogers, and Rabbi Island Feldman. Don't punish us for making choices in our children's education. Steve Hicks came to the rally to encourage legislators to vote for Senate Bill 361, also known as Early Hope Scholarship. It's important to the students of Georgia to have the best educational opportunity available to them, and the Georgia Special Needs Scholarship really opens the door for the most needy of all kids and, and uh, as well as uh, uh, for military families, our heroes, as well as for foster kids who are trapped in a very difficult situation. This issue has riled up a lot of parents. One lady told me today that she thinks that if people have a choice of which grocery store to spend their government issued food stamps, then her child should have a choice of which school to attend. Now, Gwinnett does offer their parents a choice through their permissive transfer policy. You can find more information about that on the website at www.gwinnett.k12.ga.us. For GBC News, I'm Rachel Garrett.